Hello and welcome back everybody, I'm Warren Bavarian and this is Serkland. We have been very, very successful and I want to continue this string, as this string of absolute domination against our enemies. I want to continue it against the Tulanids. Maybe it is now finally time for revenge. Excuse me, what is this first of all? Uh, I can see a lot of Tulanid and Hashemis already running around here. He is trying to invade Mecca, so we are seeing their combined forces right here, and honestly, I think we can tackle them. I think we can go there and absolutely devastate them. Now, what is happening here with uh, with the Abbasids? To increase council power. How many Abbasids are there? 40. What is going on with the Idrisids? How are we doing with them? They have 52 members now, Jesus. There's no chance we're going to become their Caliph. I can already tell you that much. There's a part of me that wants to go Ibadi because we can't be the Caliph of uh, of good old Shia, but you know what? I think I'll just take it as what it is. I just wish we could usurp that. I know it, you know, that's not how it works, but like fighting for the Caliph title, it should be a thing in these games because they did it IRL, they did it, you know, historically speaking. But let's just, you know, put that aside. What we are going to focus on. First of all, you know what I'm gonna, I wanna I want to focus on? I want uh, a hospital, thank you. We are going to focus on destroying the people defending Mecca. So let's bring over our mercs and our retinue and whatnot uh, to the Arabian Desert. How many people can be at 12k? That sounds good. My son Prince Eskild of Serkland understands that he is living a life of Haram and has ensured me that he is committed to changing his ways. Both of them are committed to changing it. Now is the time for prayers and devoted reading of the Quran. After the sun has set, you re uh, could recite the Quran through Tarawih prayers. Yes, I will thus draw nearer to Allah. Absolutely. Let's do it. Draw nearer to Allah. We have given generously to the poor during Ramadan and performed many good deeds. The urge to help those in need comes naturally to you. We are charitable. Excellent. The end of Ramadan approaches and that means the holiday of Eid, Eid ul-Fitr is upon us. The preparations for the planned feast to celebrate this have already been made and now the time has come to invite your vassals to your palace. What say you, master? Absolutely. I don't have the money, but yes. I desire to do this. And I think we can just, you know what, I'm... Oh, I haven't even raised the Tuareg? Get rid of these mercs, then. I thought there was a Tuareg company. Okay, many of them will not attend, I suppose, but I think that's fine. The great banquet you ordered held uh, to celebrate Idol Fitra, and the end of Ramadan was a rousing success. The food was exceptional, the entertainment's magnificent, and a great time was had by all. Your guests seemed suitably impressed by your wealth and generosity. Eid Mubarak. Now, I can't actually spend money on them, uh, on them is the thing, though. My affection for them is gift enough. I am charitable though. You know what? Let's go into a bit of a debt. Big debt. I'm gonna do it. Look, I love my wife. So what's the big deal, bro? You mad? We're making so much money. Uh, sure, make him the chief cardi. People want to always be the chief cardi, but for what reason, I ask you? For what reason? Now, we do have a peasant revolt going on. What do I do about that? Oh, did not mean to do that. I just want to eradicate, you know, it's tough now because we're so, so far away from the location where that stuff is happening that I fear I might have a bit of an issue there. You got to be cautious because they're going to probably come for you. Yeah, they are. Welcome home, Darg. Prince Darg has returned from Miklegard and the Varangian Guard, a changed man. He is wiser, more confident in his own abilities and more knowledgeable in matters of war. It seems the time spent in Greece did him good. Look at that. A brave Varangian. Martial diplomacy. Dude, this dude is amazing. Welcome back, Darg. Welcome back. That is that is crazy good. Can I give you can I interest you in a quick or a genius wife? No? Apparently not. I'm gonna betroth you to this lady. Yes. And you know what? I'm gonna lose some income for this, but I'm gonna make you the Yarl of Basra. Absolutely. I, I will lose income for this. I, I can guarantee it. That's just the way it is. Oh, and I forgot. I do, to make it so that this will convert, I do have to make you my crown focus province, so that should be fine. Or chaplain, sure, whatever. I reject your insulting suggestion. <laughs> Excuse me. I guess I shouldn't have married him off in that time, huh? When I was asking the other dude. There you go. Give me those troops, we should make this happen. Easy money. I honestly don't even think I need these up here. 
Especially considering it is just the Peasant Revolt. Peasant Revolts are terrible in this game. By that I mean, they're like just actually real bad. They can't fight, they can't, uh... Honestly, they can't do anything, as far as I'm concerned. Now, people are dying in my dungeon, and I'm not a big fan of that. Because all I want to do... I want the achievement to behead 10 people. Ooh, I can now hold Tiger Hunts. Because I have my capital in India. Let's do that. Let's hold a Tiger Hunt. There is an achievement for that as well. I am very aware of that being a thing. You are now there. Wonderful. Make you the Chancellor. Uh, if you weren't aware as well, they destroyed Kunigata. How else could it be? Of course they destroyed them. You know, not that big a surprise. I will admit. But even then... Let's go on a, on a tiger hunt. Dude, I'm ready. My wife Zainab Tare has offered to travel to the Tang Empire on a mission to bring glory to the kingdom of Serkland. Please, my lord, she says, that a humble servant strengthen your relations with the empress of the Tang Empire. You know what? What a brilliant idea. She's a decent character. I could send my other wife, or I could send my half-sister, and my half-sister is amazing when it comes to the education. And her educating people is a big, big deal to me. Do you have... Yes, you do have two sons. Both of which are very mediocre. Fascinating. Alright. Um, I'm gonna send Zainab. Absolutely. Go get him. My sheriffs are still underfunded, but not for long. There you go. We are back in the positive. We lost almost like 30% of our income simply because we were taking a look at giving away Basra. Or rather, we have given away Basra, I guess. I, I want to keep it, you know, true. Seduction in the wild. At a festive out outing in the wild, I found a message le left amongst wildflowers addressed to my half-sister Gudrun. A would-be lover, Count Ardashir, is waiting for her by the stream near the camp. I must protect Gudrun from such dangerous liaisons. Absolutely. Get out of here. That's my sister. What are you doing? Crazy man. The price of decadence. Oh! They have been overthrown. The Hamdanids are now gone. Meaning, theoretically, I could go ahead and force the vassalization of a huge chunk of land up there. And I think we're going to do exactly that. I'm a huge fan of that idea. But, before we do anything else, less than November. Sure. Let's just let it go uh, until January. It should then allow us. There you go. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. You hear me? I have decided to organize a tiger hunt. You will invite your vassals to enjoy this occasion with you. Can't come, eh? Alright, only two people. The hunters and their respective entourages have gathered at the hunting camp. Retainers are available to see your every need, to see to your every need, and soldiers will be useful both for guarding the camp and for flushing out any tigers. This should be a fine day. Can't wait. Several forward scouts come running back to the main hunting party. In excited whispers, they inform me that a large tiger has been spotted ahead. Hand me my spear and stand back. I will kill it myself. I will kill it myself. I failed to kill the tiger. Stepping forward, you watch the tiger closely, weighing your spear in your hand and waiting for the right moment to strike. The tiger prowls towards you slowly. Then suddenly, the huge beast stops, looking nervous. It turns and runs into the dense vegetation before you can throw your spear. How disappointing. A failed hunt. No tigers were slain, and this is an ill omen for the realm. You vow to return with better luck next time. When can I do that the next time? Every... Uh, I don't actually know. It doesn't say anywhere. Young Siv has finished education in the ways of war, and she's pretty good. Hello, Siv. Yeah, it looks like that activity is still here for quite some time, isn't it? Religious philosopher. Uh, let's go ahead and declare war, Samarian conquest of Erbil. Let's declare war for forced vassalization. Abs oh, excuse me? How dare you, first of all? How dare you, first of all? We do have 10k troops. It's quite the good number. But it does frustrate me. Turgai being as strong as it is. Seljuk may spawn here, dude. And I'm worried about it. He's not yet here. We are still safe. He may he may spawn. At this very moment. He may spawn in. Right away. He says, Imagine going for all of Syria. That is some sexy land grabbing right there. Now you have obviously not been converted yes, be uh, yet because you need a modifier there in prosperity. I, I will build up, guaranteed. I will build up this hospital. It is very important. Incredibly, incredibly important. Because I don't want to die to sickness. It's just too random to be fun. 
You know, I think what we're gonna be doing... I think we're just gonna go raid a bit. Honestly, why not, right? Tang Empire is a fascinating place, my lord, Queen Zainab Tari says as I turn the foreign coins over in my hand. She arrived this morning, and besides the obvious souvenirs, she comes carrying many a tale from her travels. Everyone in the castle wants to know everything. And that gives us good old 200 grace. Love ya. Thank ya. Send a concubine. I could... How is that a concubine? Oh, she's a lady. Of course that's a concubine. Send a eunuch. Could also be Alfka. But I think we're gonna send him. Because we don't actually need him here. And then we're gonna take a look at sending a concubine, maybe. <laughs> My son. My son Alfka, huh? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know what? He can be a concubine. That's a good life, right? Nothing wrong with that. Let their old life behind to travel to the Chinese Empire. Beautiful. We could request a Chinese artifact. She is believing in an open China, so she's not gonna do too much in terms of expansion. Um, there's not a court physician. We need 750 grace for that. Best master engineer. The master engineers and whatnot are really good. I, I have heard that numerous times. But I'm also like, you know, hmm. An imperial marriage is also really good. Hmm. Because of the honor guard. I think we're gonna try to get 1000 grace. Right now it doesn't look very likely, you know, it doesn't... There's gonna be a lot of time between now and actually getting that done. I am to please. But I will try it. My son, Prince Eskild, has enlisted with a Varangian guard. For the second time? Why? why? I mean, sh did he fail to become a v Varangian the first time or something? A Jewish exile fleeing persecution elsewhere in Europe has showed up at your court. The time spent abroad has gifted him with many connections. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Nothing. Yay, yay, I don't want you guys. Absolutely not. There you go. Wait, what? Oh, it's a revolt. That's why. You know what, dog? You're not that great, but you can be my steward. I don't want all these Hindus. Why are there so many Hindus? It's gonna betray me. I can smell it. Right, I think we're gonna go and pillage. We can do seafaring pillage. You know what? Let's just go for India. Why wouldn't you pillage India? That will be our land, but it isn't right now. So what's the big deal? Let's just pillage whatever we can. All right, everybody gather up in Baza. Still the perfect meeting location is, you know, I believe that to, uh, to be the case at least. Jewish exile, another Jewish exile. I think they're just exiling them like all over the place. As she's growing older, I can see that Ingmer could use some guidance in some of my experienced areas. We will not become rivals. I will just make you patient. Have fun. Oh, and you know what I forgot about? Let's go, boys. Ooh, we could also go with this, I guess. Allows additional succession laws, doesn't matter for us. And vassals who re uh, refuse liege interference in wars are seen as traitors. Not that interested in either of those. I think we're just gonna bribe some people here into supporting us. Oh, can't buy... Where's my son? Oh, he already is there. Beautiful. I wanna buy some favors, or at the very least request council support. Thank you very much. And with that, let's go. Prince Eskild has la at last returned from Greece. There he goes. He is not brave, or he already was brave, but he is a Varangian. There you go. I honestly, I love that. They really did a good job there, both of them. Going to Varangian Guard and coming back all the better for it. Now, I can't really have many more troops on this, so I'm just going to go raid as we are. And I'm going to dissolve everybody else, I think. What's the point? Don't need them running around. Wait, why can't I? Oh, because you're locked in. My vassal, Yal Shamja of the Nandal Raj, has requested that a lower rank vassal should serve him. This kid? Uh, nah, dude. Absolutely not. Against the trade, vomiting. That's not what you want to hear. That's all I can say. That is not what you want to hear. See, I'm just thinking, right? Lower all of your vassals. Jesus. The seam of London here is fairly sure you have the flu. Please heal me. That did not do anything, buddy. I will send Friedrich more troops. Why shouldn't I? And we can now revoke titles of people not of our religion. And he says maybe. 
Maybe, he says, you know, perfect that we have troops around to just utterly annihilate him if he does indeed say no. Let's revoke these titles here. Sure, dude, say maybe. I dare you. Peace be with you. Love it. Burn the apostate. He is... Oh, Oath Keepers of Old. Get him out of here. Absolutely. And I have the flu. Heal me, please. Thank you. Oh, now the... Okay, this is easy. So all of the good old Hindus are now rebelling, meaning that I can just take them out all at once. Oh. There you go, thank you. Let's just take them all out at once. See, I didn't didn't mean to do this in this episode, but you know, hey, smoking the Hindus out, uh, the Hindus out, why wouldn't you? What's the big deal? No longer have the flu. I appreciate it. And I desire a new spy master. The tour company. Yeah, they, they, he likes me. That's okay. I don't really want to fight them. I don't know where they're going. They're just standing around in the middle of nowhere right now. Tried to find a plot and almost died. That's terrible. Oh, my wife? Highly suspicious, huh? Oath Keepers of Old. Out of all the people to be in the Oath Keepers of Old. Really? Ah. You're just gonna brand you. You are my wife, so you deserve some mercy, okay? No real mercy, but some mercy. I don't know what they're doing right now. Why did, why did this just happen? Obviously, we want to take this capital out. And another... Goddamn Nestorians, dude, I swear to God. 4,000 of them, too. Alright, let's finish the Hindus, and then we take out the Nestorians. There you go. How are you doing? I think they had a fight there. But I don't think the major armies actually did. Alright, 66%. This is going well. We shall revoke everything they hold dear, of course. I mean, it's a classic move. Seen it so often. There you go. And that should end the war. Ah, so close. Come on, just end it, dude. What's the big deal? So many apostates now. Sorry, mate. Gotta get burned. Burn them all! As the good old... Ooh, a theologian. Beautiful, beautiful. I have spent years studying the basic tenets and beliefs of the Shia faith, and by now I consider myself quite an advanced Shia scholar. I will dedicate my life's work to Allah. Absolutely will I do that. Uh, I think that is also our call here to change our... Oh, by the gods. Gain the theologian trait. Another achievement that we just got. Thank you. I did not hunt that, but I will say I appreciate it. And I will also actually go ahead and make some, uh, do some dynastic meddling here. You know what? I have a few words about his habits. Let's take a look at that. So I could make him lose stress. I think that is huge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna not have him be stressed. I need to help him take care of himself. Absolutely. When can I do that again? In five years. Fair. The historians just siege something down. That is okay with me. Doesn't really matter. Tamara has usurped Erbil. Right, and Giovan did lose that war. I remember that war going on. Don't you dare take that back. I will beat the hell out of you. White piece? No. No way, buddy. We just lost so many in that siege, dude. What the hell? That's nasty. That's nasty as hell. Oh, how long will it take you? 11. Getting 22. I think we're going to be much faster here. Ah, oh, it will actually be roughly the same. Yep. Literally the same. There you go. War's over. This war's over, I should say. And all of you are in prison. Now, isn't that very convenient? Not you. And I think I can execute all of those, right? Should be. Not you, to be fair. And you neither, if I understand that correctly. Oh, I can't even take the last one, apparently. I mean... 
too low on your other vassals by why why is that he is a hindu you realize this right hmm he is a hindu but that's okay uh let me take a look at this execution tyranny abroad oh we're so close eight out of three you know what i think i think i'm gonna do it dude execution tyranny any Exclude from mass release, ransom, execute. If, if only I could see. Dude, we're so close. Abroad. This is 8 out of 30. If, if only I could t have two more that don't have the abroad thing. I just, you know what, I just want to mark them. It's now what I can do. Now that they're marked. I can mark everyone else. And unmark them. If you're catching my drift, I will open this up for us to execute exactly the right people and only the right people. Okay. And now, if I were to select you and you, that should be 10 people, 10 characters. Worsen your vassal's opinion of you by minus 20. Set the realm of these characters executed. The council will consider one or more of these actions tyrannical. Let's do it. I... I think this should give me the achievement. Off with their heads. Let's go. And I don't think everybody now hates me. Yeah, there you go. We've done it. I mean, all the Hindus obviously hate me. But we have done it, boys. That is exactly how that is supposed to go. Kingdom of Persia, B -B -B Jabal, Duchy of Bakar. Yeah, I want the Duchy of Bakar because I'm going to give that out, of course, uh, to a new good old Norse ruler. Not old, hopefully, but hey, this was beautiful. This worked exactly the way I hoped it would. Giving us more than what I even desired. Honestly, we're getting achievements left and right. This series is very, very achievement heavy. In a good way, in a in an excellent way, really. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna You're quick. That's nice for you, buddy. I mean it is nice for him, you know, don't misunderstand me. You just need to clean this up a bit. But with a double whammy achievement here, we are I mean honestly, Jesus. This is already, and we haven't even achieved any of our main achievements that we are gunning for. This is already the most achievement heavy series that I've ever made. I don't even need to look that up. Like, I don't need to take actually, you know, go and take a look at uh, other playthroughs. I know for a fact that this is by far the most achievement heavy series that I have ever done. And I love every second of it. Alright, of course I'm going to give out this, I don't even know, to this dude I guess. Duchy of Makra, uh, Makra, there you go. And then, brr, who have you? Bakar, there you go. You shall get Bakar. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, of course, this still, this will be my personal belonging. Good old Sivistan. I think that is okay. Why did he put the crown focus here, I wonder? But that is okay. The count oh no, council, you're discontent. Oh no. Whatever may I do. Alright, let's go. Remember how we actually wanted to go, like, pillage people? Did really work, did it? My men and I have put up with your leeching of your abilities for too long now. You know, I'll be real with you. Your company has never been that powerful, so I don't mind. I think that's okay. That you disrespect me like this. Alright, let's destroy them here. Teach those rebels a lesson. End that. And ba-boom. Easy. Right, what I also want to take a look at, uh, execute prisoners. I want prisoners that maximum give me abroad. There you go, Sean. Get him out of here. Jeez, that was a difficult beheading, I feel. Uh, hold a tiger hunt. Now, before we do this, we already had war focus, so that is good. Um, I say it is good because it gives us more personal combat, and I assume that the personal combat skill is playing a role in hunting down a tiger. We have decided to organize a tiger hunt. We'll invite your vassals to enjoy this occasion with you. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't even talk to me. The hunters and their respective entourages have gathered at the hunting camp. Let's do it. 
Very good. Who are you? Don't even remember you. No idea who you are. End me my spear. I failed to kill the damn tiger. It was nervous yet again. I don't know what makes it nervous. That is the, the one thing I can't tell you. I have zero ideas about what makes him nervous. But something does. That is all I know. And I mean, that is holding true, isn't it? Something is making him nervous. I'm still being nervous by a good old Seljuk showing up here, but so far he hasn't done it, so I'm okay with it. If they are, so this is how it works, if they are Turks, which they are, then that may very well do exactly that. It may make them uh, spawn in Seljuk, who then will go for one of those locations over here, and then we will be in trouble. If that happens, we will be in big, big trouble. Wait, what? The Varangian Guard? Why do you even show up here, dude? Seriously, why do you even show up there? Where is my... There they are. 2,400 troops that we can raise at any point. The Abbasids, of course, still exist. I don't want to actually go against you. Not really that interested. I think we're going to start working our way up here. You know what? I'm going to... Really? You, maybe? Everybody's against it. Jesus. That's just... Who are you? You're not of my... So this is Karen... Trying to get some of their land back. Honestly, I feel like it's time. Let's just get this over with. Invasion of Arabia. Now, that would be cool, but I can't actually do it. But you know what I can do? I can do this. Remember when, at the start of the series, they stole this from us. How depressing that we actually lost that. You think there's no glory in these? Are you joking? Who would fight the Tulanids? You absolute cowards. Failed hunt. I know. I know. I was there, and the hunt failed. You know what we could do? We we need an armor and everything. We don't have any of those things. Search for a smith. And honestly, I'm also amazing at writing because I'm a theologian and I'm very smart. Let's compose a book. I will compose a book on Allah. Yes, related to learning. Actually, military is our best quality. You know what? Sure. Martial theme. What type of smith do we wish to send for? Um, I think we're going to go ahead and order a deadly weapon if we can. Can I give you more people yet? No, okay. That's fair. You should not, you know, be able to overpower or use that in an overpowered way, rather, I should say. Now, my big question is, did you get any more children? You did. Two sons. None of which are significant. But that's okay. I'm going to have you be educated by somebody else, however. You shall be educated by uh, your father, actually. Yeah, that's he's an amazing dude. And obviously, your focus, if I can find it... can't find the button. Am I blind? Oh, he's not in my court. Oh, no. Oh, I hate that. I guess what I could do, and probably what I should do, I'm going to make myself... This should work, right? No? I guess I just don't have the control to, you know, make him give them the martial education, even though I wish. I will tell you I wish I could do that, but it does not look like I can. What are you doing all the way over here? Hmm. See, I would love to declare some wars here, but... Hmm. Yeah, the invasion of Khorasan, that would be amazing, dude. I, I need that invasion, because then we're actually making our way over to Mongolia. That's the spirit. What else is going on over here? Nothing much by the looks of it. You know, the Norse are holding their positions. Oh, Aquitaine and France, I didn't see that. They're falling apart, and now we have Swedes over here. The Crusades might very well be triggered very, very soon. Very, very soon. By the looks of it, honestly, the uh, Catholics are absolutely losing everything that they have and hold dear. I wish you would just declare the war for me. I'll be honest with you. Okay, you do the guardianship there. I don't actually care. Just tried to dab on you by choosing the ed education focus instead of you doing it. Alright, so far so good. Anybody convert anything into Norse? No. Unlucky. My Marshal Sarka Ferdi has told me about a remarkable weaponsmith in our mile. Absolutely. Look at this dude, Rodolf. Fine idea. Um, I would like scimitar. You know what? Absolutely. They have curved swords. Curved swords. Craft me the best quality that you can craft. What of these increases... 
chance of doing something good. None of them. Can you please focus on your work? Do it, son of a gun. Better give me something good, I I tell ya. Otherwise, you're not gonna have a good time. Peasants of Debul are now completely disregarding my rule. Jesus. They are a bit, bit angry, aren't they? I could use someone to train with. Sure. Frederick, my grandson, has been born. Oh, and Harkon. All Mirzas. Very nice. Good news, my king. Alright, give me... Spend money to potentially get an even better scimitar than the one you originally ordered. Oof. That hurts, dude. That hurts. What I'm gonna do, oh god. Dude, I'm gonna overspend here, and I'm also gonna borrow money so we come out of this quicker. Can I sell any of these prisoners? See, I wasn't even checking that out, was I? Stop excluding them, please. Do I have to do that manually? Do. Accidentally... I mean, to get the achievement, I had to exclude them. But man, come on. How tiresome, there you go. How much money? 416, that sounds nice. Sounds excellent. There you go, and all of a sudden we're back into the positive. Very nice. Why are you sieging me? Get out of here. Not my land. Get dabbed on. Yal Barrett, yep, Chief Cardi, yet again. Tighten the troops' morale or recruit more soldiers. You know what? Recruit more soldiers, absolutely. It also heightens the prosperity of our realm, which is huge. That is a big, big requirement. And by, by the way, I do remember this man Betraying us. Wait, that's not actually him. He's not on our council. I was looking at Bahrain, wasn't I? Ah, so he did not actually betray us. He betrayed us. And he's now out of prison because he paid his, you know, for his freedom. And honestly, that is fine. We'll be okay. The Golden Scimitar. I was struck with nervous excitement when Master Rodolf announced that the Scimitar was nearing its completion. Today I have received the Master in my throne room, a sturdy box in his arms, and as, as he opens the lid, I find it almost impossible to breathe. What will you name her, my king? The Golden Scimitar, Scimitar of Fortune, or Scimitar of Conquest? You know what? The Golden Scimitar, sure. Why not? Quality 3, but it looks super cool. Let's go. So it gives us heavy foot troops, uh, light infantry, monthly prestige, martial and personal combat skill up. That's a really good weapon of choice there. You would like to marry somebody. I don't think we're gonna do that. Because she would probably die over there. Can soon repay this. Let's just... Go hunting again. Let's try it, okay? Unfortunately, right, can't attend. Never heard that one before. Evening pastimes during the Tiger Garden include playing at cards. A group is gathered to play and you join them. Of course, the game is only interesting if you play for gold and silver. But how much will you bet? You know what? A lot. You had mixed fortunes at the card game, and in the end, your wins and losses balanced out. Alright. A failed hunt. Oh, just literally nothing happened, huh? <laughs> oh, man, that's disappointing. That's depressing, almost. Literally nothing happening. All of this is already soon. Oh, see, I was not fully aware of that, I will admit. That's pretty cool for us. My friend became aghast when I told him that I had sent the miller's boy to a nearby city with my finest stallion. We'll never see that horse again, he said, utterly convinced. But he was wrong, of course. He saw the horse again. Nice. Repay it, thank you. News has reached me to claim it to my titles, Fatech Khan, is hiring men to attack me. Excuse me? How do you have a weak claim on that? Who the hell are you? Oh, this is for Sind. I hope he's not prone to accidents. I mean, try me, son of a gun. I will destroy you. <laughs> Utterly crush you. Don't care for any of these reforms, so I think we're good on that. Oh, come on, he's a secret Germanic, isn't he? Ah, uh, how dare you, first of all. How dare you. We propose that you two marry. See, look at your country. Why would I do that? Why would I let you marry her? Isn't that the question that you should be answering? A new discovery. New land has been sighted across the sea to the west of Iceland. While sailing to Reykjavik from Norway, Gunbjorn Ulfsson and his crew were blown off course and came upon several skerries lying off the coast of a much larger island. Possibly a new continent. While Gunbjorn did not go ashore, the land seems to be unclaimed and unsettled. Sailors in Iceland have vowed to investigate this discovery further. 
I'm pleased to hear that after a period of peace, Manzora is doing very well. And Debul as well. So, Debul is now already at level 1 prosperity. I believe it needs to be at level 2 to become Norse. So, let's just try to push it up there. That is really what I'm looking for there. Because if we can make that happen, then uh, we get that achievement. I mean, at the end of the day, the other achievement that I was eyeing here in India is the one where you make all of this uh, Muslim. And that is an option that we can consider, but I'll be real with you, even if that doesn't happen, I'd be fine with it. Let's not, you know, over... Uh, overdo it. We need to go to Mongolia still. Oh, and he has come back as a Varangian. Isn't he already a Varangian? This was the second time he went there. He became a, Var a Varangian twice. Hello, Eskild. Welcome back. I mean, you're a pretty good character, but... Your children seem to not really get any of the good traits. When it comes to, you know, your intelligence, that is. Also, stop sieging me. I've been ignoring you because, like, it doesn't really matter to me, but... It does annoy me. I, I will tell you. It does annoy me a lot. Can I finally declare this? Oh, we totally can. Oh, we will forhit us. When will this adven adventurer come? What is, what is this? 17th September, 927. You know what? I don't care. Let's do something risky. Let's go for Hijaz. Let's do it. But we will properly do it in the next episode. Until then. Later. Alligator.